Digital versus Analog. Have you ever wondered how you can talk to someone located on the other side of the world? Or how about watching your favorite television show or movie in the comfort of your own home? This is all capable through electronic signals being transmitted long distances using electromagnetic waves. Some of these signals are analog and others are digital. Analog signals are continuous signals that are representations of the information being communicated. You can see that the line is continuous as the wave travels from one end to the other. This is an analogous clock. Notice how the seconds hand is continuously moving. The music you hear on your radio is sent through analog signals. Analog signals can have various amplitudes and frequencies, allowing them to take many different values. A disadvantage of analog signals is that the signal can become distorted by outside noise that interferes with original sound. Over time, the signal will deteriorate. Digital signals, like the ones your computer uses, are different. Digital signals give discrete values and are not continuous. This digital watch shows you the hour and minute of the day and will not change until the minute changes. A digital signal's value changes between two signals. It is not continuous and instead changes in steps. Digital signals only have two values. These values are 1 and 0, which are called binary numbers. 1 is on and 0 is off. They are sent as a series of 1s and zeros, known as binary code. Digital signals are also affected by noise, just like analog. However, the noise does not interfere with the interpretation of the two values. So which one's better? When you talk on your phone, your voice produces an analog sound. Your phone then converts the analog into digital and sends it to the cell tower. The cell phone tower sends it to a satellite, which in turn sends it to another cell phone tower. The tower sends it to your friend's phone and the phone converts the digital back to analog. And your friend can hear your voice. Throughout the process, the signal becomes distorted by noise. However, because it is converted to digital for the long journey, the phone can convert it back perfectly to the original analog sound. If it was sent using only analog, the signal would become too distorted to make out what the original sound was. The fact that digital signals are not as affected by noise makes them a better choice for sending signals. Thank you for watching another Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for more Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond videos. For more ideas on how to incorporate science, technology, and skills for life into your classroom, go to adventuresinistem.com.